I am super excited because in today's video, I'm going to take you on a home tour of a project that I did that's been featured in Style at Home magazine and Room magazine. So if you want tips to decorate a beautiful space, stay with me on this home tour. Let's break down the tips and tricks of this beautiful open concept condo. Tip number one, and you've heard me say this before, but I'm gonna say it again, is choose your color palette. That's the first thing we did with this condo. It's got tons of beautiful natural light and windows. So when choosing the color palette, we went with a real soft grays, creams, whites, and chose that for all of our big neutral pieces. Then we added the fun with the accessories. So metallics, always have a metallic in there, whether it be silver, gold, or a mix of the two. And then we added in some fun, fresh colors, like some peaches and some oranges, just to make it pop. Tip number two in creating this beautiful condo is add black. Black really grounds a space and every room needs some black in it. So what we did in this condo was we added a beautiful wallpaper um, to kind of mask the ginormous TV that the clients had and it's got beautiful black to it. We also added black in the accessories, we added black in a little bit of the trim of the chair and it really grounds the space and adds that finishing touch. Tip number three is art. Art is so key in every space and I want you to choose things that are meaningful to you. Now this client didn't have very much wall space at all, so we didn't have a lot of room for art, but where we did, we made it count. So as I said before with the wallpaper, that was done by a local artist, beautifully hand-painted wallpaper. We also put in a huge painting in the client's office den area. Art just adds impact and it adds soul to your space. Tip number four in this condo is I want to say to you, don't let the kitchen boss you around. Yes, don't let your kitchen boss you around. And what I mean by this is this condo was new, so the kitchen was already done. And to be honest, if I was designing it, I would have made some changes or done some things differently with the kitchen. The finishes weren't exactly what I say I would have chose. But don't let that dictate what you do in the rest of the space. Even though the kitchen had some darker elements, we still went with light and bright and airy for the rest of the condo. Tip number five, don't forget that your bedroom is part of the space. Now we've talked about bedrooms a lot before and it's always the space we leave to last. But especially when you're in a condo, you really want to make it flow with the rest of the room and the rest of the apartment. And that's what we did here. We still went with the creams and the whites and the textures and the golds. So don't forget to decorate your bedroom, but also carry through the elements that you've used in say your living room and your dining room into the bedroom and the whole place will flow and be cohesive. Okay, tip number six, and I think this is the most important one of all and the one we always forget is accessorizing is key. It really is in any place it finishes the room. I see so many times you go into a place and we've got the big furniture in place, but people forget to accessorize. So in this place, we really went to town on accessorizing the coffee table with beautiful flowers and vases and books. We added things to the dining table as well with some candlesticks and wood bowl. And don't forget about your kitchen island as well. Um, these are all areas of style and it's those little details and touches that really add your personality and really make a space. So I hope this condo has inspired you with some ideas and inspiration that you can bring into your place. And to get you started, I have created a sheet of where I actually got these items and you can link to it below. If you like this video, please like it, so make sure to subscribe and share with your family and friends. And don't forget to hop on over to carladreyerdesign.com because I do share a weekly email and I share tips and tricks and DIYs and things that I only share with my subscribers. So I'll see you there.